it's the most wonderful time of the year. With the kids jingle bellin' and everyone telling you be of good cheer. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's the hap happiest season of all. With those holiday greetings and gay happy meetings when friends come to call. It's the hap happiest season of all. There'll be parties for hosting, marshmallows for toasting, and caroling out in the snow. There'll be scary ghost stories and tales of the glories of Christmas and long, long ago. Hey, welcome to my third annual Christmas Spectacular. Sit back and have a warm cup of cocoa or a yummy glass of eggnog. Hey, cuddle up next to that fire and let me entertain you. Christmas comes but once a year, and it's going to be spectacular. <laughs> hey, I was downtown the other day, and a fella came up to me and asked me, what's the fastest way to get to the train depot? I said, are you walking or are you driving? He said, I'm driving. And I said, well, then that's your fastest way. <laughs> Christmas time. Hey, you gotta love it. Hey, hey, we got a great show for you tonight. I went to Kroger to get my Christmas turkey, and there in the produce section was a snowman. That's right, a real live snowman. He was looking at the carrots. So I walk over to him, I said, hey, Mr. Snowman, why are you looking at the carrots? He said, I'm picking my nose. <laughs> it's the most Wonderful time of the year. There'll be much mistletoe and hearts will be glowing when loved ones are near. It's the most wonderful time. It's the most wonderful time. Oh, the most wonderful time of the year. time of year, but it just wouldn't be the same without my famous banana nut bread. Hey, we're going to go to the kitchen. I'm going to show you how I make it.
two down here in the ninth inning. And the Astros are down to their final out. Smith. The 0 2. Left side, Swanson. To first. Get him. Get him. Woo! 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 Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, being the outdoor man that I am, I can't have an episode without doing something outdoorsy. So let's take a trip. I went to Brown County State Park in Brown County, Indiana. It's about an hour south of Indianapolis and an hour and 45 minutes away from Skywatch Studios. It's not far from Bloomington the home of the Indiana Hoosiers. This part of Indiana is known as the Little Smokies. It does resemble the Great Smoky Mountain somewhat. It has very thick forest, lots of hills, no mountains, but some big hills. And you know how much I like fire towers. The trail is listed as 2.2 mile hike. It's also listed as rugged. There was a stone shelter with a built-in fireplace along the hiking trail. I believe I was the only one on the trail this morning. It was a cool 25 degrees. The trail was very nicely laid out. There's lots of hills and ridges, so the elevation is up and down, which does make it somewhat rugged. This park has many trails, and I hope to do many more in the future. Back in the 1850s, there was a insane asylum that is real close to where the current Brown County State Park sits today. And there's still a hiking trail to get to the old building. And folks call it the Psychopath. <laughs> While in Brown County, I noticed a small time distillery. And with me being curious, I had to go inside and check it out. They had moonshine called Hoosier Hooch, and I had to buy me a bottle or two. That got me to thinking. I started wondering, was there other small time distilleries in other states around me? So I did some research and I found a place in Logan, Ohio called Hocking Hills Distillery. That's in Southeast Ohio. I have roots in that part of the country. So I drove up and I was the first customer that morning. The two ladies working were very helpful and very friendly. Missy actually gave me a tour of the facilities. Everything was going great until, well, you'll just have to see for yourself. So this one here was confiscated in 1974, um, right next door to where I grew up. He had 130 gallons of mash, 300 bottles of moonshine, and another 80 gallons ready to bottle. When they caught him, he was 78 years old, um, this time, because he's been caught many times. Uh, this was Ohio's biggest moonshine bust. What makes this still special is it is an electric still. He has a heating element right here on the side, so 1974, and he was already thinking ahead of time. 20s and 30s, it was in the basement of a bar called Matthew's Cafe. She's actually taking the end of the mash 
uh, the corn and dipping it out and putting it into these barrels so they can take it to the family farm for the cows. So, over here is our mushroom. And here, Mother Nature is doing its thing, which is a beautiful sound of fermenting. Each one of these barrels contains 75 pounds of pure cane sugar, 50 pounds of cracked corn, and one pound of baker's yeast. And then of course we use the owner's family farm water, which is really good. And um, it goes right through rich limestone into a spring well. This one will be ready in, uh, next, not this coming Tuesday, but a week from Tuesday. All right, ladies, is it true that this place got its recipes for the moonshine from my great-grandfather, Eli Douglas. No, we don't mention that name on that. No, get on out of here. Go, 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 go. go. Get out the door, out the door. Go, go, Keep go. going. Hey, I got out of there in just the nick of time. Hey, but I did get me a bottle of the Buckeye Thunder. It's 151 proof, but don't worry. This is going up on the shelf. It's for display only. The water pussy in me lets me know, don't mess with fire water. But my little adventure there in Logan, Ohio got me to thinking, maybe I should do an adventure on trying to find my great grandfather's recipe or maybe the steel he used. That would be a good adventure. Hey, I want to show you a couple uh, Christmas tree ornaments I got this past year. This one came from Mount Rushmore. I'm really proud of that one. Beautiful. And then this one right here, this is really cool. The SS Badger from when me and my grandson Logan ferried across Lake Michigan. I like to get coffee mugs, a ball cap, and a Christmas ornament from places I go. That's just what I do. During the filming of this episode, a tornado hit down in western Kentucky. The town of Mayfield was devastated. Our thoughts and prayers go out to them. Hey, now I want to show you a collection I've been working on over the last couple years. It kind of grew on me, but here we go. All right, I want to show you something that just happened. I just happened to acquire all this stuff, and I, I'm going to share it with you. Your standard rubber boots got from Walmart. These for working in the garden on muddy days. Cheap Walmart boots, but they serve a purpose. These right here are redheads. They came from Cabela's. These are my kayak boots. Very good boots. You can wade out into water just a little bit over one foot deep. They're waterproof. They bend. They give great kayak boots. These right here are my snow and mud hiking boots. They're insulated. They keep you warm. They keep you dry. They're waterproof up to that point, but I know that ahead of time. Okay, these are my favorite hiking boots. They're keen and very good. Got them at Cabela's. I love them. I've had them two years. Very good. Very sturdy. Oh yeah, my mud boots. These came from Academy Sports. These came from Cabela's and Walmart, like I said. Now, my new pair of favorite boots. I'm a cowboy, baby. That's right. Tony Llama cowboy boots. I love them. I've only had them for a few days. Still trying to break them in. But man... When I put these on, I feel like a bad. Hey, let's get back into the Christmas spirit with a song by the Tater Express. Take it away. Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Mistletoe hung where you can see every couple wants to stop. Rocking around the Christmas tree, let the Christmas spirit ring. 
Later we'll have some pumpkin pie and we'll do some caroling. You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear voices singing. Let's be jolly. Deck, deck the halls with miles of holly. Dancing merrily in the new old fashioned way. You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear voices singing, Let's be jolly, deck deck the halls with. to an end. Christmas can't last forever. Hey, but you know I can't get away without saying something. Happy birthday, Jesus. This this season's all about you. You're the number one guy. But hey, grab someone and hug them. Tell them you love them. Give them a gift from the heart and enjoy every moment of Christmas because Christmas is a spectacular. I'm dreaming of a wild Christmas just like the ones I used to know Where the treetops glisten eh, eh. Children listen to hear Playbell in the snow I'm dreaming of a white Christmas With every Christmas card I write your days be merry and bright, and may all your Christmas be Thank you.